So I'm grateful to the Lord on this morning. My heart is heavy because we're, we're, we're at end times and many of you don't even, it hasn't dawned on you what time it is. Amen. Every one of us are a product of seed, S-E-E-D. Amen. Somebody planted a seed in our life, told us about Jesus Christ. Then God sent somebody along after them to water us, tell us about Jesus Christ, not some religion, not some denomination. But that, that word, took, that seed took root in your heart. And then God gave the increase because when that word takes root in your heart, that the Bible declares, amen, I believe it's Jesus said in John 12 and 24, amen, praise God. He said that except a corner we fall into the ground and die, it, by, it abides alone. But if it dies, it'll bring forth much fruit. Hallelujah. Thank God for the seed of God's word. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is so good. Amen. And then he, his seed makes you a seed. You the one that do some planting or you the one that do some water. But it's God that gives the increase. We've lost, we've lost sight of who's really running this thing and what God's true purpose is for having us in this world here. Listen, beloved, every one of us that are saved, we're obligated to reach out and get somebody else. We're obligated to plant Jesus Christ in the life of somebody else. Hallelujah. It's time out being a bench warmer. It's time out for you waiting on God to do something. When he created you for greatness. Hallelujah. There's nothing is more, more precious to God than a lost soul. You read this in your Bible, Luke 15 and 7. The Bible declares the only time heaven gets happy is when a lost sinner repents and comes to God. And then in that 10th verse, he says it again. There's joy in heaven in the presence of the angels. Listen, beloved, God gets joy. We, we who are saved should be about the business of trying to make him happy and not ourselves. You believe me? Say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't plant the right seed unless you got the right seed in. You see, everybody's not Jesus Christ in John 15 and 1. He said, I'm the vine, you the branches, but that's another vine. Amen, amen now. There's only two vines in this, and one of them is a wild vine. That's that other fellow. I, I don't even call his name. Hallelujah. That, he, amen. Praise God for the coward he is. He don't deserve for me to call his name. Hallelujah. It makes no difference, amen. Praise God how good you got it in this life here. One cool thing about it, you got to die. And I do too. And the wrong time trying to get yourself right is when you're on your deathbed. And many people leave here without even getting a chance to repent. Amen. Hallelujah. Play with your soul. You're playing with this so your soul. You play with this salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. You just don't, you don't get it. Why? Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, in the third verse, the Bible declares that if this gospel be hid, it's hid to you. Not from you. It's hid to you. You can be around God's house for years and never get the seed. Amen. You can hear the word of God, but your heart ain't right. You'll never get it. You don't want to do right and change. You'll never get it. Amen now. The Pharisees studied the Old Testament. But did they make it into heaven? No, sir. No, ma'am. The seed came their way, and they rejected the seed like some of y'all. Amen now. Hallelujah. God has only gave us enough time to find him. And when we find him, obey him. Amen now. It's a sad thing when people hang around God's house and don't want to live right. It's a double sad thing when you first get saved and then the devil gets you, amen, praise God, to the point where you think you're really in there with God, where you can do what you want to. I'm telling every one of y'all in mixed company this morning, if you call me your pastor, you better live right. Amen now. Every one of you men stand up in here, every one of you. If you're a man, and you are the male species, young boys, to every one of y'all stand up. Let me tell y'all something. You want to fornicate or commit adultery, you won't be doing it here. Amen. 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 You want to shack, you won't do it here. Amen. You get married, woman, well, don't let no man lay up on you. Amen. This is a holy place. Amen. I can go to heaven with y'all without you. Amen. I'm talking to you men now. Amen. Every one of you, every one of you, I'm talking to you. Amen. Whether you in my family or somebody, hey, 
I'm talking to every one of you men. Amen. Amen. I'm talking to you, Brad Tommy. I'm talking to you, Les. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, 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 you every one of you. Amen. You ain't going to heaven in sin. Amen. Amen. You ain't going to heaven in sin. No, you won't. Hallelujah. And hell is reserved for you. Jesus called it the greater damnation. Why? You heard the truth. And you spit in God's face. Every one of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm holding you accountable. Every one of you. If you don't think I'll put you out, try me. Try me. Yes, sir. Don't make no difference. Hey, if I won't let my children get away, I ain't letting none of y'all get away with it. You can sit down and take it whether you want it. I don't care. I ain't here for you to like me. Amen now. Every one of you women stand up. Every one of you. If you let the devil get in your mind and you start doing things that you know are not right, God going to get you. And you men and you women, don't you go nowhere and tell somebody you belong here. Amen. And you better not tell nobody I'm your pastor. Amen. And if, if you die in your sin, men and women, if you die in your sin, especially you married men, Amen. and you marry women, you die in your sin, your spouse that's remaining here, they better not call me. Amen. 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 Let somebody else put you in the ground because I'm going to call you just what you are. Amen. Hallelujah. I ain't never had no hidden agenda. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I never had a hidden agenda. All I've done is try to reach for you. I got the lifeline. Amen. Hallelujah. All I've ever tried to do is reach for you. Amen. You're the one sinking. Amen. You're the one drowning. And the sad fact is you're sitting right at the banquet table. And you refuse to ease up here and eat. Hallelujah. You're not a child of God if you ain't living for God. Listen, Amen. beloved. Salvation, this is our inheritance. Not houses, not cars, not clothes, not money. This is your inheritance right here. Everybody that God says he gives them the ability to live this Bible. That's what salvation is. It's the ability to live by God's word. Why? Because there is no controversy. You ain't God or not at war. You need to say amen. Amen. When you hear the word of God and you refuse to obey, I want 1 Peter 2 and 8. You ain't took a text yet. I, I don't need no text. The Bible is my text. First Peter 2 and 8, when a man or a woman turns from God, you, you've been exposed to the truth, and you willfully turn from God, then Jesus Christ becomes an offense to you. Amen. Not only Jesus Christ, but those that, that belong to Christ did become an offense to you, so you became to try to hide. Amen. One thing about darkness, darkness always come to the light. Amen. They dress like us. Amen. Amen now. I ain't got nothing against no man. I ain't got nothing against no woman. I ain't got, I'm not jealous of any preacher. Amen. Amen. I'm doing what God called me to do. But let me tell you something right now. If you got light in you, the devil is using men and women to snuff people's lights out. Satan ain't out yonder. Amen. When the Son of God came, the devil also came. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why in these last days, just like God called her back and told him to stand on the wall, I'm standing on the wall. Hallelujah. Amen. Ain't nobody bigger than God, and I'm next in charge. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If your heart is not right, you're not right. Amen. And Jesus Christ becomes an offense and a, really, and a stone of stumbling. Give me the verse up above that. First Peter. Unto you, therefore, which believe, he is precious. Read. But unto them. And he is precious to me. Thou, O Lord, has been my dwelling place. Hallelujah. Since I've been on this earth, you've watched over me. You've kept me. My enemies have surrounded me all about. 
but you I've made you my refuge I've made you my fortress you oh Lord thy word is my sustenance your word oh God I love your word more than my daily food I got to have it read unto you therefore which believe yes. in the precious but unto them which be disobedient them that be disobedient you can't be disobedient without knowing what you're supposed to be obeying Amen. that's why I in 2 Timothy 4 and 1 he told me to preach the word be instant in season and out of season reprove them when they get wrong reprove right. who? reprove who? church that's folk right. That's right. That's right. rebuke them when they get wrong that's rebuke who? the right. church right. folks and then exalt them if they repent and come on back to God Amen. you exalt hey now that you in here don't you slide back out Amen. they telling all these lies about you can't backslide and go there the devil is a lie if that was true, the second Corinthians, the sixth chapter, in the first verse, the Bible declares that we did that are as workers together with him, beseech you that you should not receive the Praise grace of God. God in vain. If you receive the grace of God in vain, that means you got saved once, but you turned and you walked away. That's right. Read. But unto them which be disobedient. Disobedient. The stone which the builders the disallowed. The stone which the builders disallowed. The same is made the head of the, the corner. The same is made the head of the corner. And a stone of stumbling. And a stone of what? A stone of a stumbling. A stone. You stumble at the word. You stumble at the word. Huh? Whenever God tell you something is wrong that you want to do, you stumble at that word. Amen. And that word becomes an offense to you. Amen. You'll be sorry. Amen. Hey, a stone of stumbling. A stone of stumbling. And a rock of offense. And a rock of offense. You get offended when I. Some of you are offended right now. Listen, let me invite you. Don't come back to this church here. Amen. You're in the most dangerous place on the face of this earth. Amen. Amen now. Amen. And I want to tell you, God told me, and I'm telling you, the Ananias and Sapphira thing ain't over with now. Amen. You try to live a lie. You can live a lie like you can tell a lie. Right. You try to live a lie now. And see, don't you drop dead. Amen. Right in God's house. Yeah. Hey, amen now. Amen. Yeah, I'm loaded this morning. I got both barrels this morning too. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going right down the line. If you are a preacher in this church, you better live right. Amen. Living right entails you do right by God and you do right by others. Amen. Especially your wife. Amen. And your children. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Some of you think I'm just like you, but I'm not. Amen. God never puts a man on the wall without giving him insight. That's right. Hallelujah. I see a lot of things in a lot of y'all. That's why I can't hardly sleep now. I'm on my knees praying for God to give you a chance to repent, to lead you to repent. And if he don't lead you to repent, all the preaching I'm doing won't bother. It won't bother you. I can't do nothing for you. Amen. Why? You already stumbling over the little bit that you know. Amen. Hallelujah. One thing about us, when we get in a leadership position, we think we can do anything. Yeah. And people don't accept it. But I'm telling you, every preacher better be squeaky clean. Amen. Why are the preachers dying? It's been about five or six years ago. I told y'all, watch the preachers dying. Amen. God Amen. is cleaning up his pulpit. Amen. The world has targeted us. They've targeted us. Amen. All these preachers in the media. Amen. The word cannot be changed and it cannot be broken. What's done in the dark shall be brought to light. What is the devil doing? He's trying to discredit the church. You make people think that everybody ain't living nothing. Amen. All we are is a bunch of hypocrites. Amen. Hallelujah. I'd live right if I found a truth when you listen to one. Amen. Hallelujah. You know what makes us get right with God? When we realize we got to die. Amen. And ain't nobody went over there and came back and told us whether or not that was true or not. Amen. What Jesus said in Luke 16. Ain't nobody came back over, but Jesus told us before we got there. I'm warning you, brothers. I'm warning you, sisters. I'm warning you. If your hand offend you, cut it off. If your foot offend you, cut it off. If your eye offend you, pluck it out. Because it's better for you to go to heaven, amen, for you to wind up in hell with both eyes, both hands, and four feet. Amen. Amen now. Amen. Every one of us are on a trail. The trail of life. Amen now. The trail of life. Amen. Praise the Lord. That trail leads from the time you're born. 
it, that trail that we own when you get saved is, it leads to heaven. It leads to the rapture. It leads to death. If you die before Jesus comes, it leads you through death into the presence of God. Amen. Every one of us are on a road, beloved. Every one of us. You may not like it. You may never accept it. But you're going somewhere. Amen. Help me, brothers. Get this out the way. Come here, sister Edna. Come on, brother Darrell. You stay on up here. Come here, Elizabeth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Look, everybody looking at me. We're on the road. This man. Amen. Now you stand up. Come on, Laura. Hurry, 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 hurry. Amen. The, Lord, the road leads from the time you're born to the time you leave him. Every one of us got a door in front of us. It's called a door of eternity. Amen. That door always sets before us. The only thing about that door is it swings in. It swings in to let you into salvation up to heaven. If not, it closes in your face. Every one of us on this road. This man is married to this woman here. Turn you and get on that road. Both of y'all. No, you get in, you get in the back of her. You get in the back of her. Y'all back up a little bit. Just back up. We're on this road. On either side there are doors. And we there's a door. Let's call it the fifth door. Amen. Amen. And behind that fifth door is lust and greed, self-centeredness. Door number four, you got pride. I will you two more. Come on, come on, you brothers. Come, come quickly, come quickly. Y'all, y'all back up over there. Jonathan, are you following us? Amen. On this door over here, this door over here is backbiting. This door over here is lying. Now y'all, y'all, y'all straighten up a little bit. Get in the middle of these. You got doors on either side, but Jesus Christ came to protect your right to choose heaven or hell. Can't nobody do that for you. Mama can't do it for you. Daddy can't do it for you. But Jesus said, if you love anybody more than me, listen, you can't be my disciple. And if you, Amen. Now, how do you want to make heaven? That's what Jesus, in a nutshell, I'm setting before you life. And good, death and evil, you choose and nobody else. Both of these are on this road going to heaven. They train shall be one. But something else is in this man's heart. Amen now. Amen. I want Psalms 125. Something else is in this man's heart. She doesn't know about it, but it's in there nonetheless. Who are you? self sinlessness is what? And what? And lust. You come. God is obligated to try every one of us. Every one of us. Amen. A man can work in a place, amen, and don't have no problem. Be saved, sanctified. Have a wife and kids, amen, have everything that God gave him. And then something comes along. God tries us, to, not to, for him to know what's in us, for us to know what's in us so that we can make a choice to repent. Now, Isaiah 35 and 8, get that from me right now. Isaiah 35 and 8, we're on a road. This is a holy road, a sanctified road. Read Isaiah 35 and 8. Quickly, 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 somebody, anybody, read. A highway shall be there. That's what he say, a highway. A highway. A highway, huh? A way that leads up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Read. And it shall be called a way of holiness. Read. The unclean shall the not unclean pass over. The unclean shall not. A. On this road here, the devil cannot come on this road. Why? This is the road don't go to heaven. You don't even say amen. God is on this road here. God is on this road. Doing what? Leading us and guiding us. But something else is in this man. It hides until a prime opportunity. Read. But it shall be for those, the wayfaring men. Read. Now, remember now, the unclean can't get on this road. 
bore you? Self-centeredness, you know, you want to have your way in what? And love. Who are you? Your pride. Who are you? Backbite. Who are you? Lies. Whatever's in his heart, God going to try you. Amen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Psalms 125 and verse 4. Read. Do good. Do oh, good, Lord, oh Lord, to them to that to be good. To them that be good, Felicia. Read. And to them that are upright in their hearts. Upright where? Wow. In their hearts. Upright where? Wow. In their hearts. Read. And such and for such as turn aside unto their crooked way. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, lust. Now nah, he lust can't get on this road. Y'all with me? So in order for the devil to trap this man. That door is open up. And he got to get off the road. Alright? Because he's already decided that in his heart he didn't resist the devil like the scripture says. Grab him by his hand. And take him on out the way. Once he gets out there and the door is shut behind him, he may never, huh? I mean, how many of y'all ever read in Proverbs and say that the man that goes to this hole, he don't know that her ways lead to death. He don't know that, that she is the doorway to hell. He ain't got sense enough. Why? His hormones are talking. Amen. Now, this woman is hurt. Yes. Amen. Amen. But, Lauren, listen to me. My Bible says if your hand is thin, you cut it off. You can't leave the road to go for him. No, sir. Your soul is involved in this. Amen. She's lonesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. The enemy's working on her mind telling God to forsake you. Look what done happened to you. Amen. Huh? Amen, Amen now. Nah. If she turns and try, hey, stay right there. He can't see until he try to get out that door. Amen. Devil ain't going to bother him as long as he's doing what he's doing. Amen. But everything gets old. Hey Amen. Now, and a hoe is a hoe. Amen. Amen. By means of a horse woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread. His reputation is down. He's lost his testimony in the community. People don't trust him no more. Amen. Same thing for a woman. Amen. People don't cry. Because you betray. People are watching us. Amen. They watching us. Amen. You may not believe it, amen, or people watch you. Hallelujah, they watching your life. You breath be a follower of the Son of God, they watching you. He won't have no problem until he try to get out, back out that door. But remember, the door's been shed behind him. Now what happened? Did he really leave the road? No, 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 no. Psalms 125 and 5. Three. As for such as turn aside unto that quick way. Come here, there. Whatever was in his heart. He turned and looked that way. And then God said, that's what you want? Stay with me, Jonathan. If that's what you want, the devil didn't do it. Remember now, the devil behind these doors. The devil didn't do it. Who done it? The Lord shall lead them forth. He turned off this straight and narrow. He turned off this straight and narrow. He turned and then God led him off. Don't you think that that happens on a constant basis? Amen. In the church house. And out of the church house. Hey Amen. Amen. If she goes and try to get him, now where is she? Off the road. She's off the road. Anything can happen to her. Amen. Why? I'm going to try your heart. If that man is more to you than I am, have at it. Both of you are going to hell. Amen. All right, he's off the road, and if she leads the road, who gonna come get him? Well, amen now. Amen. And except they got somebody praying for me, and even then, even then, don't you fool yourself. People do things to God, and it's certain things God will not, not forgive. Right. Hey, amen now. You read Hebrews 10, 26. If you willfully sin, there ain't no more sacrifice for you. Why? Jesus is the only sacrifice that God will accept. Amen. Hebrews 10, 26, that's in your Bible. All right, wait, 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 wait. It ain't got to be that. It, hey, hey. That sin could be anything. It could be lust. It could be pride. Amen. It could be backbite. It could be gossiping. You know how people is? This is, uh, this is how, 
how we are. We 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 got a controversy with somebody. We saved enough to go talk to this person. It's much easier for you to whisper. Listen to me, folks. Amen. The homosexual and the lesbian got better of a chance to make heaven if they repent than you do. Amen. Amen. Now, with God, it ain't no big sin and little sin. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, why? God is judging our hearts every day, all day. We're being weighed just like he weighed up Baal Shazza. I'm weighing you up every day. I'm showing you what's in your heart. What are you going to do? Amen. What are you going to do with this? I'm going to show you what you is. And I'm going to demand you to do something. You're going to have to make a choice. You got to. You ain't going to stay on this road here. Read it one more time in the hearing of the people. He that turns to his crooked way. Read. And for such as turn aside to their crooked ways, the, the Lord, the shall, Lord lead shall lead him for with who? With the workers of iniquity. With the who? Workers of iniquity. You want to be with them? He'll lead you to them. This ain't the devil doing this. This is God trying the hearts of the people that say they belong to him. Y'all with me? Now this is the kind of message here, amen, pray to God, make you fight mad and happy glad when you, and you can't whoop me. Amen. Hallelujah. And praise God. I won't withdraw no right hand of fellowship. I'll throw you out of here. Amen. Man or woman. Amen. You keep your mouth off of folks. Amen. Amen now. Amen. Hallelujah. I wish I had some sanctified mamas around here more than I got. But I'll tell you one thing about them sanctified mamas. If a person was found in the wrong way, the pastor would have to preach certain things if the, Amen. If the sanctified mama was on their job. Amen. Come here, daughter. Come here, daughter. Amen. I mean, remember them saints that came, them saints that came out of Dallas. They go, they go to the church of God in Christ. But to show you how, how varied our beliefs are, they let them do everything. Paint up, wear pants. Hey Amen. Amen. All of that. This is holding this church. Amen. Amen. They let them do anything. That young girl came and said, right there where you said in that Mac. When the, when the altar call was given, she was one of the first ones on this altar. The girl, I, I, I don't, uh, God saved her. He delivered her. They went back to Dallas. Brought their family. Y'all with me? Amen. The next time she stepped up in here, she stepped in here with a dress on. Hey man, now. And they start coming kind of regular. I start, I start to call them members. Amen. Hey man, now. Huh? Amen. See, some of you been with me a while. And you wonder why I don't come by and see you. Pastor, you so superficial. No. If the church stands for something and you disobey what the church does, why are you here? Amen. If I, if I expected some of you right now, you got your toes painted, got your fingernails painted. You don't paint up too much over here because you know I'm going to say something. Amen. So you kind of, you paint up there, you powder it up. Oh my God. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. And, 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 uh, hey, wait a minute. Second Kings, somebody, Second Kings 2. Give me Second Kings 6 and 2. Let me read all of your mail this morning. Let us go. We pray thee Second, unto Jonah. No, no. Give them the first verse. Give me the first verse. Tell them where you read from. Second Kings uh, chapter 6, verse 1. Second Kings chapter 6 and verse 1. Read. And the sons of the prophets. And the sons of the prophets. Said unto Elisha. Said unto God's man. Behold now. Behold now. The place where we dwell. The place where we dwell in is, is what? too straight Now, wait a minute. What road are we on? Matthew 7, 30, 10, 7 and Matthew the seventh chapter in the thirteenth verse, he said, "It is at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, broad is the path that leads to destruction, and many there be that go on that broad path. But straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leads to life." Some of you right now, you come out of some of these other churches, and you stay with me a while. And then some some folk been here. They, I, hey, if I if we had a a church reunion. The, this place ain't big enough. Amen. People come here, they visit here from the other churches, and they bring what they learn from them other churches over here. Yeah. Amen. Now, nah. they stay.
stay for a while and then they leave. Why? This is too straight. Read. Where we dwell with that is too straight for us. It's too straight. Some of you used to go into a church where you can have a wife and a spouse. But you can't do that here. Amen. Amen. I ain't going to let you. Amen. God will get me. Hey, I'm, I'm in the hot seat. You're going to be in there with me. Amen. Some of you used to, amen, pray that after church, you go out and fire up a cool or Salem. But you can't do that here. Amen. It, it, it's too straight. Amen. Deacon's got a icebox full of boom foam. Amen. After church, we're going to get us, you know, take a little nip. I'm used to a preacher letting me take a little nip every now and then. But you can't do that here. Amen. We're too, we're too straight. Amen. Can this man get back to God? Nobody can say. Nobody. Amen. I, I've often wondered why Saul, I mean, the man wasn't a King Saul, King Saul, the Amen. first king. He wasn't an adulterer. Amen. He wasn't a murderer. Amen. He wasn't a backbiter. This man, all he did, God gave him one command. And the man reneged on God. His lust. Come here. No, I don't lust now. His pride got the best of him. Amen. Come here, pride. His pride got the best of him. God already knows what's in us. Amen. But he gave us a chance. Who knows what would have happened if that man had to obey God to the fullest. Amen. How many of y'all, we'll never know what, what, where we'd be. We'd be farther along than we are now if we had to just obey God all the way. Amen. But you know how we is? We deviate. When God say one thing, we figure out, try to figure out how we can get around God and still soothe our conscience. Amen. God, if you, will you accept if I do halfway? Come on, Cain. Amen. Come on, Cain. You know what I'm, I'm acquiring of you. But Cain said, God, you'll take what I give you and like it. God took it and crammed it down his throat. Amen. amen. And he didn't make heaven. Solomon, amen, didn't make heaven. Amen. Well, amen now. That's why he warned us. Amen. Hey. <laughs> Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean on your own understanding. All your ways and knowledge him. He'll direct your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear God and depart from evil. Why? Why is he instructing us? Because he failed to do that. So he on the tail end. He died sick and broke down. Yeah, amen now. God killed him. Same thing with King Asa. King Asa, God told Asa, amen, long as you be with me, I'm going to be with you. But if you turn, I'm going to turn from you. Amen. And when God's man came and rebuked Asa, Asa cussed the, cussed the man of God. He cussed him out and put him in prison. And God smote Asa in his feet. Amen now. God killed Asa. You don't think dying hurt, die now. Die now. Hey, man, now. Saul's pride got the best of him. And that pride led him off that road. And ever since he did that, God was against him. Amen. God was against him. Hey, everybody looking at me. He wasn't a murderer. Hey, man, now. He wasn't a backbiter. He just didn't obey God. Amen. Here David is. David had committed adultery. Killed a man, the woman's husband that he committed adultery with. Hey man, now. Not only that, but he went against God and tried to make God. He thought he was so in there with God until he could, he could number the people. And it made God angry. Amen. And innocent people lost their lives because of this man here. Amen. Yes, sir. When he slept with that hole, God sent the lazy preacher down there. So you tell him the sword ain't gonna the sword gonna be at his house. Now let, hey, that was him. I want Proverbs 17 and 13. You do, do evil, evil to somebody. Evil ain't gonna leave your house either. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Y'all with me? All right. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I want Proverbs 17 and verse 13. I want that right now. Who so rewarded evil who for so good? Ever reward, who so ever reward? Who done us good? Who has done us good? Who took you off the road to hell? Who put you on the road to heaven? Who blessed you when nobody else could bless you? God did. I ain't got all the money. Well, you got some money. Who gave it to you? Who gave it to you? Amen. I ain't got a job. Well, if you trust God and obey God, God will give you a job. Amen. Amen now. 
It ain't nothing nice when you set up on all this word and you still got your own mind. Amen. Hallelujah. I probably, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I could sleep better if I wasn't up all, all hours of the night talking to God for you. Amen, Amen now. Amen. But all the talking in the world ain't going to help you. If you don't change. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You reward evil for good, evil. Read. Whoso rewarded evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. Who's talking? God's talking. Who's talking? Evil shall not depart from your house. house. Right. So if you got hell at your house, guess what? Huh? It seems like you get so far, you're doing good, and the devil come in your house and wreak heaven. Huh? And you're still bullheaded. Listen, if you don't get it the first time, hey, God takes us. Come on, daughter. God takes us to the, the thing that's got us bound, huh? that he told us to conquer. He ordained for us to conquer. He ordained for us to be overcomer, more than conquerors. When you don't conquer and you think you're going to ride over everything that God is telling you, God will let you get so far, then he'll take you. And bring you right back to that thing that you refuse to face. He'll bring you right back there. If you get it this time, he might let you live. But do you really think God going to strive with us? Amen. When he already told us, I'm not going to put up with you all the time. I'm not going to keep sending my words your way and you keep turning a deaf ear. Oh, yeah, you hear, but you don't have a spiritual ear. Huh? Amen. What do you mean, Pastor. I want Matthew 13. Thank you, daughter. You're not offended if I call your daughter, are you? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Matthew 13, Jesus. Jesus said, the sower sows the word. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 1. The sower sows the word. Some fell by the wayside. How the birds came and devoured it. Some fell on stones. It had not much earth. And praise God, because it didn't have much earth, it sprung up. But when the sun came up, amen, it's scorching and they withered and died. And then he said that some fell among thorns and the thorns sprang up and choked it. How many, how many of y'all been choked? How many of y'all been choked? And you become unfruitful. But some fell on good ground. Amen. Now, when the disciples got him by himself and said, Lord, we got all these folks out. What you talking about? Jesus said, amen, pray. Why do you speak to them in parables? Jesus said, hey, it's given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. What is the mysteries of the kingdom? What is the mysteries of the kingdom? Seed, S-E-E-D. Seed is the mystery of the kingdom. Amen. Remember now, John 12 and 24 and verse 25. Nothing lives until it dies. It's up a corner, we fall into the ground and die. It abides alone. But if it die, it'll bring forth much fruit. Just like Jesus died to bring us in, we in turn must die to our flesh. Amen. Amen. Now, Paul the apostle said, I died daily because I fight with beasts. Amen. Now, in all of that. But he also told us about mortifying our members. Amen now. First Corinthians 9 and 27, I, I keep under my body. And I bring my body under subjection or obedience to this wide. Why bless his name? Lest when I preach to others, I become a castaway. What does that mean? You can preach and teach and get people saved and you'll wind up lost. Amen. Why bless his name? Amen. Yes, sir. See, God judges our motives. Amen. God will let a man preach from this pulpit. Amen. Bring people into the kingdom and send him straight to hell. Amen. Why? Because his heart right. is not right. Amen. Will God use it? Sure he will. God uses people to prophesy. Did you know that? That ain't all the way with him. Did y'all know that? Amen. He uses people to heal. Why? He gave them that gift. And the gifts of God are with, uh, and callings of God are with God with If God called you to preach, you're going to do that. But he told, he warned me in Matthew 7, 21. Not everybody is saying to me, Lord, Lord. It's going to get into the kingdom of God. Only day that do the will of my father. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Cast out devils in your name. Depart from me. You did it. But you're trying to make a name for yourself. Trying to be something. Hey, man, nah. 
You did it, Brother Bobby, but you did it in iniquity. Amen. And when he said depart, that means you don't make heaven. You're going into the lake of fire. That's where you're going. Amen. Any man that tell you that God it's okay for you to do anything outside this Bible, he'll lie about us. And I know where he's going. Amen. Pastor, you judge. Now the Bible already judged this thing here. Huh? Why do you speak to these people in parables? But because to you is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Why? I came and you started following me. Judas was in there. Amen. That seed Amen. was planted in Jesus, Judas' heart. Amen now. John 15. We get a clear understanding of this. You stay where you at. John 15 and 1. Jesus said, praise God, I'm the vine. And you are the branches. I want somebody to get me uh, Jeremiah 2 and 21. Uh, 2 and 20. I'm the vine, you're the branches. Uh, uh huh. John 15, 1. Read. I am the true vine. I am the true vine. Now, if there's a true vine, y'all look at this preacher here. Look at this preacher here. If there's a true vine, there's a false vine. Give me Jeremiah 21 and verse 20. Somebody, anybody. Jeremiah 20 Read. and 21. No, Jeremiah 2 and 20. Two and tw y'all with me? Hallelujah. Read. Jeremiah 2 and verse 20. Read. For of all time, I have broken thy yoke. I've broken your yoke. I saved you. And burst thy yoke. I delivered you. I brought you out of your mess. Hey, I don't drink no more. I don't cuss no more. I don't lie no more. I don't cheat no more. Amen. Why? Seed came into my heart. My heart was tender. And thou saidest, I will not transgress. You say you ain't going to transgress, but you're looking for an opportunity. Right. Hey, man, I'll be around God's house for you, but you're looking for an opportunity, and you don't even know it. Amen. Listen, you don't know who you are, but God knows who you are. Amen. Hey, man, now, there's a, in, in, in Matthew, in the book of Matthew, the 13th chapter, there was a certain man, a husbandman, had a field. He sowed the seed of wheat, and while men slept, that's in, you know, Matthew 15, 37. While men slept, an enemy sneaked in there by night and put tares among the wheat. Huh? God, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And then when they rose up the next morning, the, the servants went out there a few days later and said, hey, we got tares off in the wheat. Where they come from? We know what we, we know we planted wheat. We know what we did. And the husbandman said, an enemy has done this. When the disciples got him by, he said, Lord, what mean this parable? He said, look, the sower is the son of man. That's me. The seed is the word. Huh? Huh? And the, the seed is the, the, the children of the kingdom. Amen. The towns are the children of the wicked one, and the enemy is Satan who sold them. Now, then he gave us the whole nutshell of how this thing going to wind up. Yes. He said, the world, the, the field is the world. Yes. But how is it going to wind up? He said, the harvest is the harvest of souls. He's going to send forth his angels to take out of everything. Now, this is talking about end times now. Amen. This ain't talking about the rapture. This is talking about end times. Take out all of the wheat first. Why? So all you got is tear. You just set a match there. You ain't got to get it up there. Gonna, amen now. Nah. Huh? He's going to sever the righteous from the wicked. That's why he told him, let the wheat tear grow together in the day of judgment. I do separate. Hey, amen now. Nah. Hallelujah. So, so you do your mess and you try to fly under the radar, but God got your number. Amen. Hallelujah. For when you leave here, you're going to know who you are. Amen. Who read? When upon every high hill and under every green tree, oh, have mercy, thou have wanderest. I love the Lord. I hear you. Yes, sir. Until a certain thing comes along, a certain person comes along, and we find out we don't love the Lord like we say we love the Lord. Luke six and forty six. Why call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things I say? How in the world can you say I belong to you when you're sleeping around? Read the book. Amen. Under every green tree thou wilderness. Every wilderness. time you have an opportunity, you sneak around in the dark. See, darkness tries to find the light. Amen. Demons are looking for the light. Amen. Huh? Wait a minute. If the people in the world ain't got no light in them, guess why that dog is coming? Amen. Huh? Who's the light of the world? We're the children of 
lighting up like, who's the light of the world? Jesus is light of the world and he's shining in us. And then Jesus said, you are a, a, a light. Men don't like to kind of put it up on a bush. No, they sit on candlesticks so those that are in doctors might see. Y'all with me? Read. Playing the harlot. Doing what? Playing the harlot. Don't look at God turning off on him. Now, now, wait a minute. This the bunch that he fed in the wilderness. Amen. They daddies and they mamas. He killed his, they parents in the wilderness and brought them through. Put them in this land. And every time you turn around, they were trying to find something to get around God. Amen now. Nah. I'm talking to you now. I'm talking to you now. I'm talking to you now. Hey, don't y'all fool y'all selves. I, I live with people because I got to get along with people. But I don't have to accept what you're putting down. Amen. Amen now. Nah. I, 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 I'm going to tell you something. I went to a meeting on this weekend, this Wednesday. And to show you how the people uh, 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 try to spite you, they had on the program some gal to get up here and do whatever she do. And God ain't never been with that mess. I don't care what you say. Amen. God in our day, if he, if he said praise him in the dance, he ain't said nothing about you choreographing nothing. Amen. As a matter of fact, it's got to be led of the Holy Ghost. David didn't dance choreograph. No, sir. Amen. The Holy Ghost was in that boy, and he danced in the spirit. But there's another spirit around here. That comes from another vine. Give me that vine right now. Yet had I planted the noble vine. The noble vine. Holy. A right seed. A right seed, but. How then are thou turned the into the degenerate plant? The degenerate plant of a strange vine. A strange vine. A strange vine. Somebody shout strange vine. Strange vine. A woman that you sleep with that ain't your wife. You got a strange vine in your bed. Amen. Now. That man that you sleeping with that ain't your husband. You got a strange vine in your bed. And every vine has branches. John 15 and verse 1. Pray. I am the true vine. Now, that, now we just found out what, I, what that other vine is. But now let's get into the true vine. Read the book. And my father is the husband. I'm the true vine and my father is the husband. Every branch in me. Every branch what? In me. How many of y'all saved off in here and know you're saved? I'm talking about die today and go to heaven saved. Amen. He's talking to you. Amen. Hey. That bad nephew, he is taken away. He does what? He is taken away. Now you don't bear fruit. He does what? Take it away. Read. Really? And every branch that bad fruit, he pre he pre it. He purges it. And that it may bring forth more fruit. Why do he purge us? Hey, that purging ain't nothing nice. Right. Amen now. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what it takes for you to live safe? You got to take the pain. Yes. You got to take the bitter with the sweet. Why? God ain't going to let you go into heaven like you are. Wait a minute, Pastor. When I get saved, yeah, you go to heaven if you die right then. Amen. But if he leave you around here, he talking about you got to buy some fruit. Amen. And the fruit here is <laughs> not talking about apples and oranges. He's talking about bringing folks into the kingdom. But you can't bring, get no, bring nobody to Christ if you ain't in Christ. Listen to me. Everybody looking at me. I don't care what you say. I don't care what preacher brainwash you. If those nine fruit don't operate in your life, you're not going to heaven. You can forget it. Hey, I'm talking about, oh, you can, hey. This is what God calls repentance. You don't turn a quarter of the way. You don't turn halfway. You turn all about face. You turn all the way. What does that mean? You don't stop drinking and still lie. You don't stop drinking and lying and still committing adultery. Right. Amen. No, sir. Amen. Hey, he's talking about branches in him, Amen. right? Read right. it in the hearing of the people. Every branch in me that bread, bread, bear yeah. not few. Take your time, take your time, daughter. And every branch that bear a few, he purges. He purges me. That it may bring forth that more fruit. That I may bring forth what? More fruit. More fruit. Read. Now you are clean through the word. You're clean through the seed that 
to receive in your heart. You're clean through the word. Amen. Jonathan, you with me? You're clean through obeying the word. Why? That word is the seed put in your heart. You still in Matthew 13, but Thomas, you stay where you at. I'm coming your way in just a minute. Read. I have spoken unto you. Verse 4. Abide in me. What? And I in you. What did you say? Abide in me. You get in me. And, and then I in you. You get in me. Open your heart and I'm going to get in you. Read. As a vine cannot. Cannot bear. bear the vine cannot bear of itself. fruit of itself. He's got to do it through us. Through a yield that's for everybody looking at me. The seed is important. But the planter of the seed is more important. Jesus plants you. He plants you looking for it. If you don't think he ain't looking for nothing, you better read Matthew again. Amen. When he cursed that fig tree, it didn't bring forth nothing either. Right. Amen. Now, y'all y'all with me? I, I thought it was once saved, always saved. That's why you listening now. God, God got to get the truth in your heart. Amen. You got to hear it at least once before... He judge you. And don't you think for one minute people are going to hang around God's house not living right and God don't judge him. Amen. Amen. Now sometimes God will touch your mind. Yes, sir. Amen, Amen now. Amen. How you won't even know you in this world. Amen now. Amen. I, and not the devil. God will do it. Yes. Hallelujah. Matthew. Uh, 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 read on. Read. Except it abide in the vine. No more. No more can ye. Except, except you, you abide in me. Abide in me. Felicia, give me that 37 verse. Is it 37 verses in there? Uh, 27. Well, give me that 24 verse. No, no, no. I want that 16 verse. I want that right now. You have not chosen me. Everybody looking at me. You read it. You read it. Why are they looking at me? Who chose us? Uh, read. But I have chosen you. You didn't choose me. I chose you. And now why? Wait a minute. Why did I choose you? Read. And ordain you that you should. You're chosen and ordained. Look at the person next to you. Or in front of you. And say you got a purpose. You didn't just come off in here just to be in here. Tell him again. Nothing happened without God. He could have saved us long before we got in the mess we in. But remember, we're on a road. Hey Amen. And the only reason why we got in the mess we in, Sister Betty, is that we turned over that road. Hey Amen now. You didn't chose me. I chose you in our day. Read. That you should go and bring forth you and that you're Bring forth what? Fruit. And that your fruit should remain. Ain't that the way it read? Amen. Amen. How many of us somebody to God's house and God saved them? Come on, so let's see your hand. Let's see your hand. Don't lie in this church here now. Anybody? You know what I'm talking about. Don't that make you feel good? Huh? For once in your life, you obey God. Amen, Amen. Amen now. Amen. You didn't bring them. They got saved in Went on by the bit. No, it make you feel double good when they get saved and then they begin to grow in the Lord. Amen. Huh? When you when you stand before God, all the fruit. Amen. That God used you to bring into the house. Paul told, I believe them Corinthians say, I want to be offered up on on y'all's testimony. At one of them churches. Amen. Huh? Uh, read. That whatsoever you shall ask of Wait the Father. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Matt. It's a lot of people praying. God ain't answering. Why? Amen. They ain't doing nothing on behalf of the kingdom. Right. You, you, you like being saved and satisfied just coming to church and shouting and dancing. Amen. Singing and talking in tongues. But you ain't did nothing toward the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And God is watching us. Amen. If you're faithful over little, <laughs> you'll be faithful over much. If you witness where you are, then I'm going to open your understanding. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Remember in Matthew 13? 
That's good. I want Matthew 13. I want that right now. I want that part when, they, when he's beginning to explain to them about uh, the parables. Read. Tell them what verse you read from. I got to get in a hurry. Verse, read. Verse 18. Read. Hear ye therefore the parable of no, the no, 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 no. Back up. Back up. Because when he told them to them, it is given to, to know the mystery. I want that right there. Read. Verse 11. He answered and said unto them. Read. Because it is given unto Matthew you. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11. Read. Because it is given unto you. It's given unto you. To know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Read it. But to them it is not given. Read. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given. Stop right there. Listen. If you accept a little bit of God's word, that seed is planted in there. Huh? If you, hey, God didn't call us to know all of the Bible right Amen. offhand. Amen. But he did call us to study every day. Amen. If you obey that that you're studying, then God will open your understanding and he'll give you more power. Wait a minute. With every revelation, there's power to obey that revelation. Y'all with me? Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, I, what is a reality in the life of those that obey God? 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. What do you mean, preacher? All things are passed away. Those desires to do wrong are gone. Amen. If you'll obey God, you see, a lot of folks pretend to be right when they come to God's house. What you do at your house, though? Amen. At your house. Amen. What are you doing at your house? You know Pastor Douglas stands for certain things, and when you do things against Pastor Douglas, you're scared of Pastor Douglas when you ain't got no legal right to be scared of me. Amen. <laughs> God is watching you. Y'all with me? Amen. God is watching what you do. Amen. And next thing you know, amen, pray God, then he'll get me to pray. Yeah. Amen, until you cross the limit. Don't you fool yourself. Amen. God draws a line, you cross that line now. God will tell me the same thing he told Jeremiah. Don't you pray for this people. That's right. I'm taking him. Yeah. I'm taking her. That's right. And I'm, hey, I'm going to do them just like I did Esau. You read the 12th chapter of Hebrews. The Bible said that man prayed for repentance and God wouldn't let him repent. He found no place for repent. God wouldn't let him repent. Hey, Amen now. It's the goodness of the Lord that leads us to repent. But what if God don't let you repent? I thought you said God loves you. Sure he loves you. But them that get the harshest judgment are those that heard the word and in some cases even received the word and turned and walked away. Amen. And Peter said, it's better for you if you had a never never heard the way of truth than to know the way of truth and then go against it. Amen. You just like a dog that returns to his vomit. You know, homosexuality is a dog spirit. Amen. Why? Because they do what a dog do just like a dog do it. You that are spiritual, Amen. understand me. Amen. Amen. That's a beast spirit. Some of you got some of the, something else running down in there too. Hey man, now nah. when you whisper against folks, I don't, I don't care how you lie and cheat, steal, uh, in secret, it always comes up. But I tell you another thing: when you run your mouth against somebody, God gonna get you. You wonder why the why the sword ain't left your house. Remember now, in Proverbs seventeen and thirteen: if you reward evil for good, if you do evil to them that ain't done nothing to you, you just want something to whine and complain about. Amen. Then evil ain't gonna leave your house. Hey man, now. Nah. And you think it's the devil, but it's God. Amen. Hey, that's seed. With everything you read now, listen, beloved. This is seed right here. It's either planted in your heart or you reject it. Amen. Amen. Now, anything you see in here that you won't do, I didn't say can't do. I say you won't do. What did you read in John 15? Every branch in me that bears not fruit is taken away. Yes, sir. Read on. I got to get in here. For whosoever hath. Watch it, brother Willie. Watch it now. Read. Verse 12. To him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. Wait a minute. If you get, you obey a little bit, then God will give you more. But listen to me. Everybody looking at me. You know what's wrong with some of you? It used to be wrong with me, too. My mama told me things that when I got saved, I know it wasn't right. And when I started reading the Bible and found that it wasn't right, there's a conflict there. Amen. Now I got to choose whether I'm going to obey God or not. Amen. Or obey what my cronies told me. Amen. All right? You can be in God's house and get a little bit of truth. But when you read that Bible and something conflict with that Bible, then and you go with that conflict, then what little bit you got? God will take it out of your heart. Amen. Amen. Now. Right. I don't throw 
throw stones. I just tell the truth. If you're not supposed to be in this church house, you stay for so long, then God will take you out. I'm not going to call the brother's name, but y'all remember him. He said right there. Amen. He cried in the service. Thank the Lord and all that. That young brother's not here now. You know why? God had to try him. Amen. He was all right, but God tried him. Amen. Hey, man. Just before he left and went down south, God told me to pray. I was on my knees praying, God, please take care of him. When you get a burden for somebody, you don't know what's going on. Amen. But listen, beloved, whatever in that person, I don't care how you pray, God's going to let that man see what's in him and give him a choice. Amen. These people ain't came to this church in a while. They holler and cry, why well, won't the pastor come see me? Because your spirit ain't right. Amen. Well, I went to see them this weekend. Hey, man, I sure did. Amen. They didn't like what I told them. Hey, man, they didn't like what I told them. Hallelujah. But why, why would you want to profess to be a Christian and not live right? Amen. You got to be, something got to be going on up here that ain't right. I know one thing, you don't believe this Bible. Because if you did believe this Bible, you wouldn't dare do what the Bible say not do. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all looking at me and I'm looking clean through y'all right now. Amen. This day you transparent. Whatever's in your heart, God is telling you, the Ananias and Sapphira thing ain't over it yet. They lied to the Holy Ghost and fell dead in the service. Amen. Watch what happens. Read. But whatsoever hath not, from him shall be taken even away. Even what even you got, God will take it away because you won't obey the little bit that you know. Read. Therefore speak out to them in parables, because they seeing, see not. Read. And hearing, they hear not. Read. Neither do they understand. Read. And in them is fulfilled the promise of Isaiah. In them is what? In them is fulfilled. And in some of you, this same thing is being fulfilled. Amen. Amen. Now you hear, but you don't hear. You see, but you don't see. You don't see eternity. You don't hear the word. Amen. You hear it with these, but your heart is closed up. Your heart has got something else in there. And wait a minute. God ain't going to share us with nobody. Amen. Everybody gets a chance. Everybody gets at least one chance to hear the truth before they leave this world. Everybody. Y'all with me? Everybody get Hawaii. God will be unjust to send you to hell without letting you know the truth. Amen. Amen. And I know I makes it mighty plain around here. You ain't got to go in a trance and figure it out. No, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you're an adulterer, don't I call you an adulterer? Amen. If you're a liar, don't I call you a liar? Amen. Everybody want to comfort with the pastor until I tell you about yourself. Amen. Amen, Amen now. Amen. And, and, and some of you, you won't talk, you won't talk to me. You know why? You, you're going to talk to some of the other folks because you know what I'm going to say. Hallelujah. Amen. Really? And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, we said, by hearing you shall hear. You hear the truth. And shall not understand. But you won't understand the truth. You won't understand that you in the you seeking in the sea. The life preserver is down to you. And you won't take it. Amen. One man had three sons, brother Bobby, brother Holmes. He had three sons and they was drowning. He was standing on the bank. Amen. The man couldn't swim. One man told him, go out there and try to go get him. And then another man said, don't you be no fool. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> then he got some sense. He grabbed a long rope. And, shoo, shoo, huh? Okay. Everybody do it. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Huh? And he throwed it out there. One of them grabbed it and he brought him in. He throwed it to the second one. He didn't grab it. But the third one made his way over there and he grabbed and he pulled him in. What am I saying? You know people that don't want to live right. And you, can, amen, you living right. Don't you get off that road going out there trying to get them. Amen. Amen now. You throw up the rope, pray God and they grab it, pull them in. Amen. If they don't, let them drown. Amen. You, be, hey, you, you let your heart be divided now. You ain't going to serve two masters. Amen, amen. now. You ain't going to serve God. 
and serve yourself or your family. Amen now. Amen. Our job, Amen. our money, Amen. our clothes. Amen. See, everything is a God now. Amen. But I'm talking this morning about seed being sown in the heart of the people. Read. And seeing ye shall see and shall not proceed. Read. I got to get a hurry. Read. For this people's heart is wax gross. This people's heart is what? Wax gross. Read. And their ears are dull of hearing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not these. Not these. No, sir. No, sir. Everybody got a pair of these, bro Brother Mac. But everybody don't have a heart to follow God. Amen. But God's got to be just to send them that seed. He's got to. Read. And their eyes, they have closed. They, who closed their eyes? They have closed. Who closed their eyes? They did. Read. Lest that any time they should see with their eyes. Any time they see with their eyes. And hear with their ears. And hear with their spiritual ear. And should understand with now, their Now, wait a minute. When you got a spiritual ear, that means that you can see things. Now, you can see God blessing you. You can see a house. You can see a car. You can see money. You can see your family being blessed. But you also see salvation. Amen. Hey Amen. Now you see third John and two, but now oh, I would above all pain that you prosper. You can you can see salvation and that everything you got is hinges off of salvation. Amen. That's a hey, that's an ear to hear. Read. And I should understand with their hearts and should be converted and oh, should heal them. You got a pen, underline that in your Bible. A conversion. A lot of people profess Jesus Christ, but they're not converted. Amen. Hey, every one of them disciples that followed Jesus Christ wasn't converted. Amen. Not one of them. Therefore, Satan could get to Judas because he, he, he wasn't right no how. That's right. He was a thief, and God let him be what he was. Amen. Hey, God let him be what he was. Amen. Hey, man, now, he was a thief. God pulled it out of his heart, and he sold Jesus Christ for 30 pieces of silver. Amen. Some of you selling for salt, salt or nothing. Little or nothing, huh? Hey, man, now, nah, he sold out. Hey, man. Amen. Why? He heard the truth. Hey, if you read Mark, the 10th chapter, when Jesus sent out them 70, and then them, you know, them, when he sent the disciples out, they cast out devils. They laid hands on the sick and the sick. Judas was with them. Amen. Hey, man, now, nah. he was a partaker in the ministry. But he had to fulfill scripture. Every one of us are fulfilling scripture. Every one of us. Everybody looking at me. Every one of us is fulfilling scripture. And the positive or the negative. Every one of us. I heard the truth and I got saved. I fulfilled that part of scripture. After I got saved, I said, you know what? I'm going to surrender my whole life to God. Everything I am. All right, now I'm walking in 3 John and 2. Amen. I'm fulfilling 3 John and 2. Read. But blessed are your eyes, for they, for they see, see in your ears that they hear. hear. For they hear, for verily I say unto you, truly I say unto you, many prophets and righteous men desire, have desired to see these things. And have not see seen them. them. That's right. To hear them. Jeremiah them. didn't see this. Isaiah didn't see. They wanted to see it in here, but they didn't. Amen. Why? They had a, they was in the, God called them for their purpose to preach to a backslidden nation. That was, that was the prophet's purpose. People didn't want to obey God. So God raised up preachers to send their way and warn them what was going to happen to them. They closed up their ears. They hardened their heart. And if it wasn't Syria beating up on them, it was Egypt. If it wasn't Syria, every time turn around, they go in captivity. Amen. God told them, Nebuchadnezzar is going to take you away because of your wickedness. Read the book. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sword. Read. All right, now, now hold what you got. I want Luke chapter... Luke chapter 8, and I want you to find that about him explaining that. I want you to give me that verse. You stay where you at. I want you in Matthew. I want one of y'all in Luke, and I want another one of y'all in Mark. Amen. Now, Mark chapter 4. Luke chapter 8, Mark chapter 4, and Matthew chapter 13. Brother told me, read right now. Read right now. Will anyone hear the word of the king? No, if, I, if you find a scripture, you stay where the scripture at. Y'all with me? Because I'm coming down your alley. Come on, Matthew. Will anyone hear the word of the kingdom and understand it not? They what? Understand it not. Hear the truth, but don't understand the truth. That this is the salvation line being thrown out to you. This could be your last days on this earth here. They do not understand. Read. 
Then cometh the wicked one. Then comes who? The wicked one. Then comes who? The wicked one. Read. And catcheth the way that which he was sown in what? his heart. Catcheth the way that which was sown in his heart. It's sown in your what? In your heart. Answer me this. Did the word get in? Yes. It got into the heart. But there was no room for it, huh? There was no room. It got in there. Read on. This is he which received seed by the wayside. Mark chapter 4. I want that passage where he's talking about that, that part right there. That same thing. The sower. I want, I want that by the wayside. And whoever got Luke, I want that what he said about the wayside. Read on. What verse and, in? Uh, Mark 4, 13, 15. Read. And these are they by the wayside. By the wayside. Where the word is sown. Where the word is sown. Word is where sown. Where the word is sown. I'm coming back to Matthew. Come on, Mark. Read. But when they have heard. When they have heard. Satan cometh immediately. Satan does what? Cometh immediately. Why do we come immediately? Because anytime you plant anything in the ground, leave it alone. Time brings about the fruit. Time does. And the longer that word stays in your heart, the more it begins to produce that fruit of joy, peace, long stop. Huh? So he got to come immediately to snatch that out your heart with do some trial or somebody make you mad. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all are made mad this morning? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ain't nobody going to tell the truth. Everybody keep their, help, keep their hand down. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, now, ain't nobody going to tell the truth. Hallelujah. If the preacher don't make you mad, do I make you mad because I'm mad with you? No, I make you mad. I'm mad at the devil. I'm mad because he uses you at will. Amen. And many of you, he using you not even aware of it. Read the book. And take us away the word he that was takes sown. Away the word that was sown from where? their hearts. Come on, Luke. Luke 8. I want that same. I want the wayside. Luke 8. Read. Tell them where you read from. Uh, 5. 12. Read. 8 and 12. Those on, by the wayside are they that hear. by the wayside are they that hear. What? Hear. Read. Then comes the devil. Then comes the devil. And takes away the now word. Now in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let everything be established. Let every word be established. Let every truth be established. Why? If you don't understand it in one passage, he really have it recorded more than one time to give clarity. He wants us to understand what happens every day. The church doors are open and people come to hear God's word. This happens on a constant basis. There's only four kinds of people in God's house. Amen. And you are one of these people right here. Read the book. Then comes the devil and take away the word out of their heart. Get ready, home. Matthew. I'm coming back down your alley. Read. Lest they should believe and be saved. Lest they should what? Believe so and Felicia, be saved. I want 1 Corinthians chapter 3. And you started that ninth verse. Come on, Matthew. But he I want that stony, that stony ground. Read. But he that received the seed in oh. the stony places. I don't want that right now. Come on, come on. But he that received the seed at the stony place. Read. The same as he that heard the word. He that what? Now it. notice, they all got one thing in common. They heard the word, word, and it was sown in their heart at one point. Read. And a nun with joy receive it. Get saved, amen. Prayer falling all out, foaming at the mouth. Amen. Now, what does that mean? long as God blessing you, you'll stay with God. When, when, when the blessings shut off, when things start going a little bit sour, and God start trying you, you put him down. Hey Amen. Amen. Now read. Yet, verse 21. Yet hath he not root in himself. When Matthew, tell him what yet. Matthew uh, 13, 13, 21. Read. Yet hath he not root in himself. Read. But do it for a while. He'll endure for a while. He'll do right by God for a while. Read. But when tribulation. When what? Tribulation. What? Tribulation. Read. Or persecution read. arises. Because of the word. Because of what? The word. Read. By and by, by and he by, offended. He gets offended. Remember now what we read in 1 Peter 2 and 8. When people want to do something in the Bible's against, then they stumble at that word. They stumble at that word, and then God just going to take them off this road. Hey, man, now Jesus Christ has become an offense to them. Read. Is that it? That's it for that one. I won't. Come on, Mark. Mark 4, 16. Read. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground. Read. Who, when they have heard the word. When they have heard the word. Read. Immediately receive it with gladness. Read. They what? Receive it with gladness. How many of y'all were glad when, when you got saved? Let's see your hand. Read. And have no root in themselves. But they have no root. What does that mean? 
They got saved that Sunday, but they wouldn't come back for weekly service. Amen. We don't find you in Sunday school, you know, the teaching part of the service, Amen. the Bible band, you know, YPWW. We don't find you there. Amen. You never come to pray out. Hey, I pray because I get strength from praying. Amen. Spiritual strength. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. But we don't find you there. You're a Sunday disciple. Amen. Well, amen now. Some of you have been coming here for years. Some of you have been coming here for years. Some of you started out with me when I started down here. Amen. But I never see you in the weekly service. Never see you in the weekly service. Amen. Amen. And you wonder why the devil, every time you turn around, you sick and broke down. Amen. Read. And have no root in themselves. No root, no root. It don't take much for people that ain't got no root. Brother Holmes, you with me? It don't take much for people that ain't got no root to leave God when things don't go their way. Amen. Amen. Read. And so endure oh, for, for a time. Refusal. Read. And so endure for but a they time. Stay with God for a time and then what? Afterwards, when affliction or persecution arises for, for the word's for sake. For the word's sake. He's coming for that word. John 14 and 30, the, the prince of this world is coming. But he has nothing in me. But whatever he got does have in you, he has a legal right to come and get it. That's why I'm told in this Bible, amen, to crucify my flesh. The only way he can come at me is through my flesh. Amen now. When you get mad, amen, it's because your flesh is getting mad. Your flesh is acting up. When you start cheating, your flesh is acting up. When you start backbiting and whispering against folks. See, I'm going to tell you something. It's dangerous to whisper against people. Y'all with me? Amen. It's dangerous to run your mouth and talk behind somebody's back. Because Proverbs 16, call, hey, you on that list of things that he hates. And wait a minute. Was that Bible written for people that don't know God? No, sir. Amen. So what God is saying is, the world is already judged. But he, ju he hates them in his house. They got that kind of spirit. Amen. And you ain't going to help. I don't care what you say. And God, hey, it's what this book says. If we don't line up with this book, we are in trouble. Hallelujah. I, I, I feel God blessing me right now. He blessing me right now. He blessing me right now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. I tell the truth on me. 